What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boy, oh boy, do I have a fantastic video for you guys today. Today's video, I've gone over this so many times with X Defiant. That it just seems like it's just a, a, nothing will please the overall community. But here we are with Splitgate 2. And we all knew. We all knew what this game was going to be like. It was, it was no surprise. No shocker. Everybody knows what Splitgate is all about. Yet and still, we still get these same exact complaints all the time. Ladies and gentlemen, there was a clip posted by Jake Lucky of one of the Splitgate players. I don't know if they're a pro or something like that. Um, and I'm actually not sure who this player is, but I'll showcase the footage to you guys, you know, of what everybody is getting all feisty over. As you can see, this individual is just going to absolute town when it comes to the portals within this game. And uh, the responses are getting absolutely wild. But one of the hottest, hottest responses that's getting the most likes right now is this one right here. This is literally the reason online PvP games die. Game hasn't even released yet. And he's already tryharding to his fullest potential. That he's actively on stream, optimizing the fun out of it all for everyone else lucky enough to get access who just wanted to play something new. The same complaint that you will see in every single game out there. Like I said, I've been dealing with this since day one when it came to X Defiant. And again, I'm always down to find a middle ground when it comes to movement, right? I really am. Because the game still has to be approachable from the casual Aspect the casual community, right? It can't just be completely. I mean, it can be completely hardcore. I can't say it, it can't be hardcore because, you know, uh, there's some games out there that are very, very, very niche that takes a lot of time to learn and stuff like that. They're just not as massive. But if you really want your game to, you know, be out there and be extraordinarily popular, it has to be accessible by the casual audience. I guess get it that's why i'm always down to find middle grounds i've said many times before that i'm willing to you know nerf down the b hops with an x define i think two is a perfect spot which i think that's what they're going to be testing out very shortly here but it's always the crowd who just doesn't want it at all if you even l get your feet off of the ground they might actually pass out and here we are and once again it's transferring right over into split gate 2 they literally i'm not lying to you they have literally made the movement 10 trillion times easier and way more casual than split gate 1 what you saw in that video footage is exactly what you could do in split gate 1 it's nothing new ladies and gentlemen this is absolutely nothing new we all knew what was coming we all know what split gate is especially the ones who have been playing for ages now so i, I truthfully can't understand why people can't fathom the fact that players out there are able to do this you know and like i said it's not even that intense Hence, comparing that to what you can do in Splitgate 1? <laughs> oh my god. But you know what the funniest part about it is? When you saw stuff like that in Splitgate 1, there was nobody even bringing this up. There was no debate about if that should be in the game or not. If it should be as fast as it is. Nobody debated it. And now here we are with Splitgate 2. A version where portaling honestly isn't even as good as Splitgate 1. I see the whole community up in arms right now, the really hardcore community, that there isn't enough portaling. You know what I'm saying? They feel a little too restricted, especially when it comes down to the map designs and there's less portals to go around. So why is it now, uh, you know, everybody who's now witnessing this, everybody's up in arms. I, I just don't get it. it. It's literally a more casual version of Splitgate 1 and now we have a problem with portaling? Heck no. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with the, the current day of age of gamers, but we have some of the laziest gamers I've ever witnessed in my life. There is not a single game I could possibly think of where you have to put in zero effort. Not even the casual games. Shoot, Animal Crossing. You still have to put some freaking thought process into that game as well. There is like no games I can think of where you can actively shut off your brain completely. You always have to put forth a little bit of effort. Even in the OG Call of Duty games, the OG Halo games, all of that good stuff. There was still a little bit of effort that was needed to want to win, get kills. You're telling me you're playing in a first person shooter and you don't want to kill people? No, that, 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 if, if, if you even dare, if you even dare try to tell me that, you are absolutely lying. You want to get kills. You probably get a little frustrated when you don't get a bunch of kills. It's understandable. 
everybody goes through that because that's why people play FPS games with the adrenaline rush of going on tears, getting a bunch of feeds, getting a bunch of kills. Of course, there's other things like challenges and, you know, you can complete stuff. But at the end of the day, you get satisfaction out of getting a lot of bodies, right? So why is it all of a sudden now uh, people just don't want to put in any, any amount of effort to try to gain those kills? And if they don't get the easiest of the easiest lobbies, it's just going to be a massive problem. Honestly, guys, I'm going to show you guys a tweet real quick from TGD. This is beautiful right here. This tweet below is exactly why people in the protected bracket of COD's EOMM slash skill-based matchmaking tech aren't allowed to have opinions about PvP games. <laughs> And he's talking about the tweet that I just showed you guys earlier. I've got zero respect for people that shit on others just because they are good at something. Just because you've never been good at anything in your life doesn't mean others have to adhere to that too. I completely agree. I don't know like what's going on, but this skill-based matchmaking era of gamers just cannot stand where there's enough of a skill gap in the game where people can indeed gain an advantage over them for just simply, you know, learning new tech. Tech that doesn't even take any effort. The funniest part about it is that all these people will probably call this person in that Splitgate clip a sweat, when in reality, he's not sweating at all. I can guarantee you this. I, gar I will bet my life on this information that he's not sweating. It's just natural when you start to do these different types of tech over and over and over again it's natural it takes no effort to do any of this stuff once you get the understandings down people don't get this people think people are sweating their butts off no they're, they're barely even trying but they have a massive advantage over you because they didn't just want to stay at level one and verse you know a, a, a low tier bracket for the rest of their lives and again, that's what that protected skill-based matchmaking era has built out of these new generation of gamers. People who don't want any gap within the game. People know what Splitgate is. People know this. They know what the game is. So, like, you, you can't tell me now that this isn't meant to be in Splitgate. No, shut up. Shut up. It was meant from day one to be in Splitgate, just like many of these other games, okay? Accept it and move on. If you are truly a casual gamer, and I'm going to say this again and again and again, if you are truly a casual gamer, this doesn't affect you because you will just simply back out and re into another lobby. The players who play like that are in the top 1%. You will not see them barely at all. I have yet to see anybody play like that in Splitgate. It's very rare if you are going to run into anybody who plays like that. So again, if you are a casual player, leave the game Find another one, and that goes for everything. Uh, there's movement sweats in COD. There's movement sweats in X Defiant. There's movement sweats even in games like freaking Rainbow Six Siege. If you don't like it, if you can't stand it, like I said, if you're truly a casual, leave and re -queue because not everybody is like that. You can definitely find variety. I mean, look at over half of my X Defiant gameplay that I post on this channel. I have a ridiculous amount of hours in this game, and I have tons of footage of people who don't do any type of movement, who barely even strafe. Like, there's plenty of individuals out there who can match your similar play style. So stop trying to strip any type of gap out of the game. So you can level it out on a, a ridiculously level playing field, which will never happen. There's not going to be any FPS game that will ever, ever get into those standards that you want. Not even the OG CODs. You can still drop shot and jump shot and get advantages on your enemies in the OG CODs still. There's not a single game out there, not a single one, where it'll be like a civil war with muskets and everybody just stands still for you in a straight line and you guys just take your shots. You won't. Find that unless you go to a mill sim. And if it's that bad of a problem, go to a mill sim. Console as hell at loose. PC players, you got squad. Squad is an amazing mill sim. Such a fantastic game. Such a fantastic game. Even in Certain G Sandstorm, that's another fantastic game. It's like a little mix of a mill sim, tax shooter, and a little arcadiness like COD as well. It's perfect for anybody who's craving that style of gameplay. But if that is the type of game that you want, go to that game. Stop going over to arcade games, arena style games, 
and getting pissed off when players are starting to use, you know, techniques that are put in by the developers to help out, you know, the game have a skill gap. Just, just stop. Stop expecting that. It's never going to happen. It's like, like I said, it blows my mind because people will look at these games, a game like Splitgate, where the, it's literally, the, the code name for this game is literally Portal Wars. It's all about the portals, okay? And people get mad that people are portaling too much. If someone in the comment section can make that make sense to me, I will, I will, I will pay you. I will pay you some money, man, if you can make that crap make sense to me because I, I just can't. And that goes for every game out there. It's like these developers, like, I guarantee it. Treyarch right now has openly said how they're trying to, you know, build the skill gap with the omni movement of the game. They want this to be built in. It's on purpose. And I guarantee you it's going to be a nonstop wave of people out there complaining about it, crying about it, saying it's the worst thing ever. It needs to be removed right now. This was never fundamentally supposed to be in the game. They were never going to do this. So, you know, they shouldn't have it in the first place. When it's tons of proof online of the Treyarch devs coming out and saying that this is what they wanted, people are going to say it anyway. It's just, I guess, the, the current generation of gaming. But, ladies and gentlemen, as always, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you hate it, leave a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. We post daily here at 8 in the morning Eastern Time. And, of course, if you guys are interested in any of my live streams, I will be live today at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. Probably playing a little bit more X Defiant. I think I want to add some Splitgate into the mix as well. So, I might play that as well. So, if you guys are interested, by all means, you guys can find a link to my Twitch channel down in the description of this video. As always, thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.